Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about three different ways that you can make wipes. Um, I know there is like a craze right now because of the um, coronavirus and everything with that and all of supplies are being bought out. Um, but if you're able to make some of these things at home that can help can just make your own stuff if they don't have it at the store so I'm gonna go through three different ways that you can make wipes and three different types of wipes also so the first one that I'm gonna go through with you guys are baby wipes I've been using the baby wipes now for about four years maybe a little bit longer and I've discovered that using homemade wipes has helped a lot of my kids with uh, sensitivity and using store wipes. We've used a lot of store wipes before where um, they maybe are scented or over scented. And as a baby, a lot of mine um, would get a rash from using them. So I started making my own wipes with um, oils and baby wash and coconut oil and i've used all sorts of different baby washes i try to stick with organic baby wash um just because it's a little bit more sensitive for their skin so it works just a little bit better and then um also with the wipes that we're going to be doing today i have two different versions of coconut oil so i have the regulars like solid coconut oil and then I also have the fractionated and the difference between both of them is the coconut oil that is just regular uh, refined coconut oil is a little bit more has more benefits to it than the fractionated kind so I'll leave that all in the description below and each um, recipe for each wipe I will also and then I'll leave the benefits of some of the things that I'm using uh, in this video too um, like the baby wash I'll leave down there I did get this from a lady on Instagram so I'll leave you her link also and then I'll see if I can get the link to where you can purchase this and then um, links to all of the oils I'll leave in the description and then other stuff you probably already have at home. So to get started, what I've discovered through making wipes, I've tried all different kinds of knives to cut through the paper towel. We've tried different paper towel um, and which one worked and which one didn't work. So with the knives, I've always just used regular sharp knives and then with how much we were using, my knives will get dull pretty quick. So we ended up using like an electric bed, bread cutter one time too. And then that got really dull and then I ended up breaking them. So we discovered that using just a regular utility knife worked best for me. Um, and it was, it's a little cheaper because you can just change out the blade when uh, they get dull instead of, you know, always buying a new knife. Um, this works well as for the wipes and or the paper towel um, We discovered that using the Walmart generic brand big rolls seems to work a little bit better And I'm not sure what brand this one is, but I'll leave it down in the description I don't, I don't know if this is the Walmart or not um, Just because of the shutdown right now and everybody buying different things I'm not sure what my husband was able to purchase um for what we have on hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I go about getting, um, cutting this. I did go ahead with the other two and I already cut everything, um, but I wanna bring you guys up close and I wanna show you how I go ahead and cut it. So you're gonna need a cutting board. And then I have my utility knife right here. And I just go ahead and go like this. And I just keep going around until it's all the way cut. 
What I like to do with the containers for the wipes, we end up cutting out a little notch on top just so you can pull it through. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. And I'll show you two different ways. Now you can go ahead and leave it like this and you can kind of bend these in a little bit. And that's what that turns out to be like. Or you can do like I did on this one. And I'll just go, it kind of just does it for you. Like it goes up to this spot. And there you go. We're gonna get started. I already have my hot water right here. And you're gonna need hot water because you're gonna be using um, the coconut oil and it's gonna be solid. So you're gonna want this to um, melt in your container. You're going to put uh, your paper towel in your container. Okay, I just have my measuring cup right here. I'm going to pour in my two cup measuring cup here. So I have the two cups in here. You can just use a regular serving spoon or a tablespoon, or you can use a tablespoon. I always end up just using this. I take one spoonful of um, coconut oil and I just place it right inside there. water it'll start um, liquefying and then I'm gonna go ahead and add two pumps of the baby wash I'm going to add four drops of lavender I think I got five in there and then four drops of tea tree now you can use other oils if you would like, but I mainly all the time use tea tree just because it's an antifungal. It's also clean. It's a good like cleanser and that's okay for um, baby wipes. As long as it's diluted, this can go on the skin. And as for lavender also is um, good for like rashes and skin. Now, um, I'm not saying like people can't break out from this. I am no, you know, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a doctor or anything like that. This, I'm just going by my own experience with all of my children. So um, mainly, let's see, the twins, Declan, pretty much everybody that is in the home right now has used these wipes in one way or form. Like it could be just cleaning up their hands or their face and or the table even because of um, a lot of the cleaning properties in this. So I'm not afraid to use this on my children's skin this way. This is what it looks like up close. You can see that the coconut oil is starting to melt. Now try to use extra warm water so that this dissolves faster if you would like. And pour it on top of the baby wipes. So I kind of just go around, and that's okay if there's extra pieces. And then what you're gonna do is put your cover on, and you're gonna let it sit for about five minutes, and then we'll come back, and then I like to flip it over so that the liquids that go to the bottom um, have a chance to come back up. So. Then I will show you what we're gonna do with the cardboard inside. So for right now, we're gonna leave this one off to the side and we're gonna move on to the next one. Um, I know that they're being like sold out at some stores or you're only limited, limited to buying one right now. So we have a couple of these on hand that we do use, but if for some reason that you're not able to get one, 
um, then I have a way for you to make it, but without bleach. If you don't want the, you know, the bleach in there, I, there might be another recipe that you can make with bleach in it. I just didn't want to use that um, for this recipe. So I'm just gonna show you um, the recipe that I have for today. So like you've seen, I already put my notch in the top. I have my paper towel already cut. I already did the two cups of water. We need a half a cup of alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Now I know alcohol is also being sold out. Um, you can look on Amazon too, but I think they were sold out also on Amazon. I don't know if they're, you know, maybe slowly coming back to the stores, but um, this is what you need to make these wipes. So I'm gonna add that to that. Then we are going to be using Dawn dish soap. I just have a generic version of soap. I'm going to add four tablespoons. Whoa, made some bubbles. I added the four tablespoons of the soap. And then I'm going to add eight drops of lemon. And with lemon, I'm not even counting here. Um, with lemon, this also is a cleaning agent. Give that a good mix. This is what it looks like being mixed. So just mix it all up until the soap is all mixed together. And take your wipe container and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So just pour that in. Now these you wouldn't want to use on like for your hands or for, you know, like I said, the baby wipes are just strictly for baby wipes. Um, I'm gonna put the cover on right now and then we're gonna let this one sit for five minutes and we're gonna come back. We're gonna tip it upside down just to get it all soaked up in there. And then um, we're gonna take out that center cardboard. Now, this can be used for any surface. This can be used for pretty much anything. Um, and the oil that we're gonna be using is called On Guard. This can be used during like flu times and this is a good kind of disinfectant to clean around like tables, doorknobs, and stuff like that. So this is another good one. Um, but the one that we made just before, like the Clorox wipe one, that one's gonna be a little bit more like germ killing, a deep disinfectant than this one. This is just gonna be your basic house cleaner, um, but with the properties of helping with some germs around your house with the On Guard. And I'll leave a link for you guys if you would like to purchase some of this. Um, they also have other like cleaning products or hand, you know, hand wash on guard for flu season. Um, and you can purchase that also. So I'll leave a link to my doTERRA um, site that you can sign up if you would like. And then um, check out maybe some of the other stuff that they offer. So I went ahead and had my water ready. I have... Um, the cover already pleated that you saw before, and I have my wipes in here. We are gonna start with the two cups of water. This time we're gonna be using the fractionated coconut oil. You're going to need two tablespoons of the fractionated coconut oil. You're going to need one tablespoon of organic hand soap. So I just got the Myers um, Clean Day and it's in lemon. So this is a multi-surface also. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this around and this one is a pretty good cleanser also. I'm going to add three drops of On Guard. And I'm going to add some more lemon. Now bring you guys closer so you can see what it looks like. 
This is what this one looks like when you mix it up. So you can see the oils, right? the fractionated oil in there. Um, the soap that I use is a little bit more liquefied than using the dish soap. So it mixes in really easily. And like we did before, you're just going to pour it right on top. And put your cover on and we'll come back to that one. So with the other wipes, you just go ahead and flip them over this way and you can let them sit for another five, 10 minutes. And when that time is up, you're gonna wanna flip it back over and you're gonna wanna pull out this center part. And it should, once all that water is soaked up or your solution is all soaked up, it should come out really easily. And then you're gonna pull your center up. Now, if these get really wet and soaked, um, you might need to lessen the amount of water you're putting in. Um, but the wipes that I'm using are pretty good with two cups of water. So then you just put your cover on and then I don't have two hands here. All right, so then you're able to just pull and it cuts right off. And then you just clean your surface. This is the baby wipe one. So that's that one and they smell really good too. This is the Clorox wipe one. So that came out pretty easily. Pull that up, put your cover on. Now I sh showed you that um, we get these, I think at Walmart and it comes in multiple different sizes all in one bigger one. And we use the one that's able to hold um, this size roll. And then this container I got from a friend when we did a uh, oil party. So you can do a round one also. And I'll try to figure out what size that is. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, and then just go ahead and pull whatever amount that you want to use and then just clean, clean your surface. Now I have a little bit of soap build up on mine, so you can go ahead and get a washcloth and then just wipe it off. Clorox wipes, it's good to leave it on for about five minutes if you want a deeper clean or like to fight more germs, just leave it on um, for about five minutes and just wipe it down. Now, if you're noticing that you have too much soap left over, cut back on the soap in your um, solution. All right, so here is the cleaning ones that we just did. And just because of the, see, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when you don't wait. This is what happened. Because I didn't wait and I didn't turn it over, um, I have a harder time pulling it out. So there you go, now it came out. Put the cover on, go ahead and wipe everything down. This one you do not need to let sit for five minutes, but you also will not be wiping it off. Oh, I will leave everything in the description for you guys to purchase if you need to. Otherwise, like I said, some of the stuff is already probably in your home already, but because of the shutdown and the coronavirus right now, um, some things might not be available to you. So this might be just another way of you doing it yourself and making your own. So other than that, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.